So what's everybody? Uh, what's up, everybody? Uh, this video is going to be my walk away story. I recently figured out or learned that this was actually a movement, and um, it's kind of crazy because uh, I had my own walk away movement in my life, and I didn't know that this was more like a movement. Everyone's kind of sharing the story, so I just want to put minds out there just for anyone to relate or maybe can inspire uh, some people to just rethink a lot about what we. We, what we believed growing up basically in my life I was uh, predominantly raised in a, a Christian centric uh, household meaning that my family wasn't really Christian but they did held hold a lot of Christian beliefs uh, I mainly grew up with my mother and my siblings um, my dad was in and out of my life but even the times we didn't uh, um, catch up, my dad did lean more towards the pro-black kind of anti-white establishment. Uh, I come from a Caribbean household, and my dad, he's not necessarily a Rastafarian, but he does lean towards more of the Rastafarian kind of pro-black, like white people are the devil, black people are oppressed, you know, kind of, kind of, kind of mindset. And my mom was kind of like, my mom was kind of indifferent, you know. I didn't, I didn't, she, I didn't really get into politics or, or, or topics like that with my mother. But um, that's where my parents kind of stand it. Uh, and growing up, I did have a lot of uh, conservative leaning views uh, because I am a Christian. Um, you know, I believe in uh, man and, uh, male and female marriage. Uh, you know, I believe I don't do drugs. I believe I don't believe in uh, uh, you know being uh, sexually active or you know just just very conservative I ideas. But. I wasn't. I wouldn't say at that point I was an actual conservative, uh, but over time, especially in uh, my my college years, you know, with everything going on going around in the media, you know, it's constantly bashing your head that you know black people are oppressed. There's white privilege, and there's a you know a systematic system against you, and a lot of this um, this victim mentality. Whenever you would hear a story like a a a, a, a white cop shooting a black man. I'll be first to say, hey, like we kill ourselves more than any cops have killed us or anything like that. So basically, like I had very uh, conservative I I ideals, and I didn't really, I wasn't really into politics like that. Before I really got into politics, I used to, I used to think like the basically the Republican Party was a party that did he uh, hold traditional values, but were more for the rich or they only looked out for themselves. Well, I felt like the Democratic Party was morally failing, but they actually cared about everybody. You know, they cared about minorities and oppressed people or what have you. And uh, that's what I initially thought. But um, eventually, because it's being hammered on my head so much through my friends or just scrolling through social media that black people are oppressed, you know, black lives matter, the white people are the devil, white privilege, the wage gap, all this kind of stuff. I slowly started hating white people. And it was, it wasn't, it was a very short time um, where I, I, I really hated Caucasians. And growing up, I've never had any ill towards anybody. Like I, I would say I'm the kind of person who's cool with everybody. I don't care if you're white, black, Spanish, Asian, you're gay. You're atheist, doesn't matter to me. Like, if you're cool, I kick it with you. But because it was being preached so much about how evil white people are, I started hating white people. I mean, everywhere I would go, I would look at a white person, man, they have a good, man, they're such racist. You know, you start assuming that every white person is racist or they don't like black people. And it was to the point where, man, like, I was really hating white people. And it got really bad because it's like every day I was mad. I had so much hatred building in my heart and I felt miserable. You know, and it's not until I sought, I sought help from my pastor, my pastor who is black, uh, bring some clarity. And, you know, he basically said, you know, that you can't make it in this life, especially in America, without white people's help. Meaning basically like somewhere down the road, a white person is going to help you some way or somehow in America. Or, you know, you just can't hate people because, I mean, God made everyone equal. And, um... You know, it doesn't matter if you're white, black, or Spanish, whatever, like, we're all created equal. You know, and every race have done their fair share of injustice, injustices in the world. But, moving on. Uh, yeah, so after talking with him, he really brought some clarity, and I was able to kind of become clear-minded again. But it's not until I was scrolling through YouTube and I saw a suggested videos, actually a YouTuber called Hunter Avalon, 
who I do like his channel a lot. Um, it was one of his videos called uh, Why I Don't Like the Fat Acceptance Movement, and I clicked on it, and that kind of exposed me to a lot of uh, conservative um, ideas. Hunter is a very uh, outspoken conservative, and I was just scrolling through his videos. I would see like videos about Black Lives Matter, about the LGBT community, about Trump, and just kind of just scrolling through it, like my eyes just started to open and listening to his videos, like my eyes open, and I would say I'm a free thinker. Like, I believe in absolute truth, but at the same time, I'm open to hear idea, uh, different ideas because I like to discuss about ideas. So I found his uh, his arguments and his, his, his viewpoints very, uh, very interesting. And uh, I agreed with a lot of what he was saying and uh, that kind of set me on the path to conservatism, conservatism and learning more about politics. But even before that, I remember I was uh, watched a, a YouTube video, uh, not a YouTube video, a video on Facebook by Ben Shapiro, that famous video where he was uh, arguing against the the, the transgender, uh, you know, the transgender uh, movement, or you know, all about basic biology, whatever. And I agree with Ben Shapiro, but I didn't know who Ben Shapiro was. But I did find that video, and I did agree with Ben. But after I found uh, Hunter Avalon, that's when um, in the suggested videos I saw, you know, videos about Ben Shapiro. You know, the whole Ben Shapiro destroys such and such a person with facts and logic and blah blah blah, blah. and I would just basically like uh, binge watch all his videos and just learn from Ben a lot of what he was saying is what I personally agree with but because I didn't really know how to articulate uh, what I thought it's like I believed in what conservative ideals believe in but you just don't know how to express them and not really knowing how to defend yourself you kind of I kind of felt into the more liberal, progressive, and that's when I started hating white people. But after seeing all the videos from Ben Shapiro, you know, that kind of just opened my eyes and I just agreed with a lot of what he was saying and a lot about you know, the victim mentality that's being preached, how the Democratic Party's corrupt, that they're, that they're the actual racists and everything like that. And then eventually from watching Ben Shapiro, that led me to other free thinkers slash conservatives like uh, um, Dave Rubin, I love, um, Thomas Sowell, uh, Larry Elder, uh, Jordan Peterson, you know, um, and uh, another YouTuber I watch, his name is uh, The Amazing Lucas. I like his videos as well. So that just kind of led me to to really become a conservative. And I guess that's when you can say it was my, my walk away moment. And I've never looked back. And now I'm very well informed about politics. Uh, I'm, I update myself. I update myself currently and I know which news channels to stay away from or which which news outlets to stay away from saying <clears throat> CNN and SNBC stuff like that but that's kind of way my uh, that's kind of my, uh, my walk away story um, it's not a huge one but I definitely can say that I feel more liberated you know I know how to defend um, my stance on things and I'm glad that I'm not uh, deceived anymore by what's being uh, preached by the Democratic Party and uh, leftist you know so that's kind of my journey, but let I me mean, know what you guys think. What's your journey? You know, how how did you get to where you are? You know, let me know in the comments. Ah, let me know in the comments below. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I catch you next video. So, sign